Hey guys, this is Elias with Softly, and today I'm going to show you how to import Jet Engine repeater fields using WP All Import. Now, guys, the first step is to get our files, so I'm going to do that. Alright, and then I'm going to select the post type I want to import, which in this case is this Jet Engine post type. So we're going to create new Jet Engine post type for each record in this data file. Alright, so guys, we don't actually have any post types here. So we're going to import all of these 1200 ones. Now, uh, I have a very simple file and we have two different kinds of repeater uh, here to be imported. So let's just continue to step free and you will see what I mean really quick. I'm going to drag and drop my title here. All right. And these are some restaurants and I'm going to enable the jet engine post type uh, group field right here in the jet engine section. And here we need to decide which kind of repeater mode we're going to use. Now uh, we have two modes, basically the fixed way and the variable CSV. Now uh, this variable CSV will work for OneDrive, Excel, Google Sheets, and pretty much anything that has a spreadsheet like uh, layout, right? And then we have here the XML type. So for this example, we will only be using these two. Now, the first one is for when you have a fixed number of repeating elements. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So, we have here this fixed repeater. And what this means is that we only have two sub-elements, right? So, this is one and this is two. So, this is the case here for these menu dishes, right? We have the menu name one, menu description one, and menu price one. And then we have the same three elements for the second repeater, right? So uh, what we do here is basically uh, we'll add a row and add a second one and just drag and drop the values like so. Menu name one, description one, and price one. And then name two, description two, and menu price two. And with this WPL import, we'll create two sub elements, right? Like so. Cool. Now, then we have this variable uh, repeater. So I'm going to select this variable CSV mode, right? And uh, here is the element we're going to import. Uh, we have only three fields, review name, review comment, and review rating. And as you can see, we have several elements, but they are separated with a pipe. So uh, for example, we have this first review, which is from this guy named Aaron Turner. And he wrote this comment, right? Because it's the first one. And he left this rating. Now, this second one, Alison Mayer, she wrote uh, this second comment, right? And she left this rating. Now, uh, you can see, guys, here we have five different reviews. And in the next record, we have six. And in the next one, we have five again. And in this one, we have, what, seven. So this is a variable number of repeating elements. So what we're going to do here is drag and drop the values to the appropriate fields, right? Comments going to be here and rating is here. And then I'm going to make sure I have the same separator character in my file, which in this case, it's a pipe. And that's good because that's the default value for WPL import. But you can change that to use whatever uh, your file is using. And then I'm going to ignore the blank fields. And if I hover on the question mark, it says if the value of the element or column in your file is blank, it will be ignored. Use this option when some records in your file have a different number of repeating elements than others. So this is the case. And with this, we actually have everything we need to import our repeaters. So let's just continue to step four. And here we need a unique identifier, which is basically a way that WPL import has of telling one record apart from the other. Because uh, all of these 1200 uh, restaurants are different. And if WP import somehow thinks two of them are the same, well, it will create the first one and will use the second one to update it. But since we don't want that, we need to make sure that uh, we choose the right unique identifier. So, guys, again, you can drag and drop whatever value you want here. But if you don't want to overthink this too much, just click on the auto attack button and WP import will choose the right one for you. Now, these settings, we're going to leave them as they are, but you can hover on the question marks and it will give you a brief description of what this option does. Now, they are pretty much self-explanatory, but if you have any questions about this, you can just contact our support team and we will be more than happy to help you out. 
Now guys, finally, we have here the scheduling options, and this is pretty cool for when you need to uh, rerun this import automatically on the schedule. Uh, say you need to, I don't know, import a feed on a daily basis, or maybe update some data uh, weekly or monthly or whatever. Well, you don't need to run this import manually over and over again. Just uh, schedule your import using or automatic scheduling service or using current jobs, and you're good to go. Now, again, if you want to know more about that, you can check out the other videos in our channel or check out our docs at wplimport.com. For now, let's just continue and run this import. Now, this is going to be fairly quick because we don't have much data to import. So we're going to just let this run and it should be finished in a couple of seconds. All right, so WPL import says it's finished importing or repeater data. So let's see if that's true. And we have here 1200 uh, post types. So this is cool. Uh, let's open this one up, see what's going on. And here we have our repeater uh, data. And you can see we have only two, which is fine. This is the number of repeating elements for the fixed repeater that we expected. And here we have the variable repeater. So we have one, two, three, and only three, right? So this is pretty cool. And all of the data seem to be here. Uh, let's open a different one, maybe this one. And here we have one and two, it's cool. And for the variable repeater, we have one, two, three. Oh, this one has three too. Let's find another one. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one has a lot more. Uh, here we have the two uh, menu dishes, right? And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different reviews. So there you have it, guys. That's how you import Jet Engine repeater fields using WPO import. Now, guys, uh, this was a very quick walkthrough video, but if you want to know more about how to import or export with more variety of fields using Jet Engine, or if maybe you're using uh, Metabox or ACF to handle your custom fields, well, you can uh, import and export that data too using WPL Import and WPL Export. Just check out the other videos in your channel or go to our website at wplimport.com. For now, thank you for watching and see you next time.